Hey there, folks. So, probably just a quickie, but y'all remember this uh, slab that I built a while back? Did a video on. Thought it was pretty neat. Had a few compl had a few concerns, um, but overall, you know, still thought it was pretty neat. Um, there was a direct response to a lot of my concerns, and Zypher did end up making another iteration of this shell that I never bothered doing the follow-up on. Um, I don't know. Life got in the way, such as it were. But I think I'm going to try and correct that. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do a full new build, because realistically I know that as soon as I take the Game Boy out of this shell, this shell's not going to be around very much longer. Um, so I'm just going to try and transfer this build over to the new shell. But if I recall correctly, some of my earlier complaints were um, some, some silly things that I thought were missed opportunities, uh, like not having the uh, accessory ports for the link port down at the bottom. Very minor thing. Um, I didn't like how the shell fit together because of where the screw posts are. I think it puts a lot of torque unnecessarily on um, the edges. It's kind of weird. Which screw am I missing that one? Uh, I didn't really like how the buttons feel to press. Because I didn't like I didn't like this button well so close to the edges. It made if you play with the pad of your thumb, it means most of your fingers resting on the faceplate while you're pressing down the button. And I don't know, I just I didn't really That didn't really sit well with me for one reason or another. But let's see if I can remember how to take this thing apart even. But anyway, Zypher made a V2, and then I neglected to do anything about that. Um, this original iteration I got printed from PCBWay in their clear resin finish, whatever whatever they call it. There's a name, I've forgotten. Um, I didn't really like how it came out, to be honest. It could have been better, but... I think there's like only so much you can expect from 3D prints at this stage. Uh, so for the V2, I just went ahead and printed it myself on my Creality Ender 3. Oh, I already broke one of the wires. Oops. On uh, my Ender 3 Pro. Let's see. There's got to be an easier way to do this. I need. Right screwdriver. of this thing. I'm going to have to end up redoing all of my wiring. Just you watch. Come on, why are you sticking? So, I mean, it's held up pretty fine. Uh, no real yellowing or anything. I don't remember when I did the first video, um, but if you look up the date on that, I published it within a couple months of when I made it. And it is July, late July 2022, probably going to go up in August. Um, 
No real yellowing of the shell at the very least. That is still probably intact, as is the rest of that. Okay. Well, and realistically, I should change up my buttons. I don't think this color scheme makes as much sense. Also, those don't fit worth a damn. I need to do some post-processing. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to do some post-processing so that the buttons actually press reasonably. And um, I think I'm going to find different buttons for this. BRB. Alright, I found some buttons. We good. They don't match each other. But uh, it doesn't matter. We don't worry about that. that in. Maybe. Oh, good lord. It's got to slide in under these brackets. I think this is designed for a slightly different kit than I'm trying to make fit. We go up from the other side. Yeah, it might actually be easier. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, let me try and figure this out. All right, there was a lot of negotiation, but it went in. I have also probably totally ruined my shoulder buttons. I've also definitely regretted the uh, order of operations here, but we'll get there. We'll be good. My button wires are just dangling. It's okay. We'll get there. Now I need to get this screwed down. hope that I have not just totally ruined this. That lined up. Use the same screws. Not the easiest thing to assemble. Probably easier if uh, I wasn't trying to avoid work. You know, like if I did this, um, there's an order of operations to this and I am trying to skip most of those. You know, when you try and do something the quick way instead of the proper way. Ends up taking twice as long as the proper way would have. Yeah, I think that's what I—that's where I'm at right now.
think that's about good enough. One more. All right, I'm missing the little plastic thing. Oh, that I thought I had handy. It turns out I don't. Oh, and I just found way better buttons I could have used. Oh, well. So on the original one I assembled, it didn't matter that there wasn't any light pipes. But on this one, there are lights, so we should install the light pipes. Or there are light holes, rather. I'm not entirely sure how that's supposed to get installed, though. Seems like you just kind of jam it in the hole and hope for the best. I mean, sure, but... Hmm. Maybe that's exactly what you do. And that goes there. Sure. Clear back back on? Oh no, I can't because it doesn't have the accessory ports. Unlike this one. I think I'll use the uh, original battery tray I had though because that is that printed a lot cleaner than the one I just printed. <laughs> there. Anyway. Just desolder all this. Why don't we? Should have just done this from the beginning, but here we are. I saw someone was going around posting uh, some better shoulder buttons too. Should check those out. Uh, I should also probably deal with that, but I'm not expecting anyone, so. Come on. Well, this is, there it is. Oh, that isn't even the screws I used. Oops. All right, hang on. All right.
I'll never understand why I made the decision to use these tri point screws. Over the crosshead ones that I already have. So I think while I'm here, I'm going to rewire these buttons. Well, I have to, but maybe this time I'll put long enough wires on them. That's a different button style. That's not going to work. I think you changed what kind of tacks you're supposed to use. Because my old buttons have a cutout that the uh, stem slides into. These new ones don't. So I'm going to use my old ones for now. Print new ones later. figure out why my buttons don't fit. Cool. Well, maybe I can get away with this. So that has to cross over. That makes sense. We'll just do it this way. Should at least pretend to get it the right way around though, shouldn't I? There we go. Easy peasy. Can run that across again. Just like that.
This thing goes down. Gotta remove my spacers, that's fine. Got my power switch and the LED light pipe fell out. That ain't too bad though. Well, at least it fell out of the console. One of these days, I will put long enough wires on here that I don't have to worry about it routing around the cart slot switch. Or the cart slot itself. One of these days, not today. Yeah, you know what? I think I need to fix that right now. Let me run some longer wires for these. All right, I think I think I've got it. Just need to figure out how to get this together. I guess. That should do it. Except I have no idea where all of this extra wire is going to sit. I 
Don't expect it to be somewhere convenient. Definitely not someplace convenient, nope. That's on the wrong side. There's an easier way to do this. Easy. There. Now we just got to pull that out again. This is one of the reasons why I was happy with those wires slightly too short. Routing them is a pain in the butt. Alright, I think that's it. I don't have wires poking where they shouldn't screw it together and hope for the best. that's good enough. I have no idea. I guess that's good enough. I hope that's good enough. And I hope that's good enough. Oh, I forgot the, um, there's a screw that goes in here, I bet. Nope. Or not anymore, I guess. That goes in there. It's a print. I never picked these supports off. And I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a square nut in there, but the print was gnarly enough that I could just screw directly into it. Hey! It's a bit kick. Ah, it's not what I wanted. Cart. And let's 
let's see. B button does not feel right at all. But, oh, and I have no up button. What are the chances that broke while I was messing with it? Uh, I don't want to take it apart again. I bet the ribbons or the membranes just aren't seated right for B and start and select. And for up, yeah, that probably broke off and I'm gonna have to pull it apart, but I have to pull it apart for the light pipe anyway. Um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's all right. I'm not gonna bother testing everything that I complained about the first time because I'm sure this cutout is more than enough for the camera. The uh, wireless adapter, I'm sure it fits, but we'll try the GameCube link thing. Yeah, not a problem there. Notably, the buttons do feel considerably better than they did on the uh, clear one that I had with the uh, two-part front piece. Um, I see what you were going for, and quite frankly, it was a pretty good idea. It just didn't feel very good, in my opinion. Um, regarding that two-piece front, it does certainly make it a lot easier to print, but this feels better, and this prints just fine, too, so... It is what it is. Before anyone asks, no, um, I'm not giving this away. It's not worth it. If it were the new model, maybe, sure. But it's the old one, and it doesn't feel great. And it's not even complete because I'm keeping some parts. So, it is what it is. Don't ask. But, yeah, I mean, the overall feel is basically the same as it was, which wasn't bad. It was never a bad thing. I just didn't like how... Ooh, that's not screwed all the way in. Oh, I can fix that. It was never bad. I just thought it could be better. And this is certainly a lot better. Uh, getting the screen in was kind of difficult, but... Again, there's an order of operations to this thing, and because I tried transferring an already completed build into it, I'm sure that made things way more difficult than they needed to be. Uh, this print is obviously pretty scuffed. I will probably end up swapping out this whole back piece um, with something different color, but the front's fine. I don't have any problems with that, aside from the fact that I just put in screws that were slightly too long. Oops. Oh well, it is what it is. Oh, also, I can see that there's a lot of pressure on the back of the screen because it's pushing the LCD up into the lens. There's some uh, ringing there. Um, probably right where all that wiring is, so I'll have to pull this back plate off and shave that support down a little bit because I don't think it was designed for how I did the screen. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's better than it was, certainly better than it was, and if this is the sort of thing for you, then, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Um, one of my biggest complaints, and there's absolutely nothing that can be done about it, and please don't take it personally if you're watching this Zypher, but I just, I don't like 3D prints as a finished thing. Like, I get the idea behind the design is that you can distribute the file and then anyone who wants to make one can just print it. Like, that's, that's fantastic. I love that. That's great. I just, as a finished product in the hand, I don't think 3D printing is the way. It's a good prototype. It's good for prototyping. Yeah, absolutely. But like, would I throw this in my pocket and have it be like my daily driver Game Boy? No, probably not. I just, the technology isn't there, I, I don't think. At the very least, not with um, home printing machines. Uh, maybe industrial printers are a little bit better. Well, maybe. I know industrial printers are a little bit better, especially if you get, like, the uh, the nylon, the SLS nylon. That stuff's pretty good. But this is still just a little bit too flimsy for my tastes. Um, there's a lot of post-processing required, too. 
especially like look at this it's very very flimsy right there you can see I just poke it with my fingernail and it tries to go through of course this is just my printer that is basically entirely untuned uncalibrated you know I just throw filament at it and say print and usually I get something resembling what I'm looking for um, certainly perfectly fine for this but like if you're if point of that tangent is um, I don't necessarily think it's worth paying for a print for something like this because it's still going to be a 3d print you start getting into diminishing returns but you know what this is a lot better than the V1 um, there are enough little things changed about it I'm very pleased with it this thing was just entirely too flimsy for me. I'm sure my choice of material didn't help, but I mean, you, you see how flat it is now. It, it was pretty warped when I had it all together, so I don't know. Oh, now it's now it's a little warped still. Go figure. So yeah, it, it could have been a lot my choice of material, but this is better, and I'm going to get some more made from this nylon pretty soon. Probably won't do a video on it when I swap it over, but it is what it is. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to go ahead and tear this thing apart and see if I can't fix a few of the little things that are uh, bothering me, like the fact that my B button, like A, has travel. B doesn't. <laughs> it still works, but there's no travel. Up has travel, but it doesn't work. Um, there's this weird gap here. I don't know what that's about. Uh, the light pipe fell out. I'm going to go ahead and glue that in. But, you know, little things. Like I said, it's it's not a finished product. So it doesn't feel like one, I guess. But for what it is, for the low, low price of I already own a printer, the files are downloadable right here for free. I think this is a pretty sweet mod. Um... Yeah, I will go ahead and link my V1 video down below if you want to see like the full process start to end. It was a lot longer than this, and even this took a long time, and all I was doing was reshilling the Jesus thing. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, support Zypher makes cool stuff. I like it. I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked about that. But otherwise, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you all next time.